Over the past few weeks, uh, I've been talking about what I believe should be our number one priority as a country, uh, building a better bargain for the middle class and for Americans who want to work their way into the middle class. Uh, at the same time, I'm focused on my number one responsibility as Commander-in-Chief, and that's keeping the American people safe. And in recent days, we've been reminded once again about the threats to our nation. As I said at the National Defense University back in May, in meeting those threats, we have to strike the right balance between protecting our security and preserving our freedoms. And as part of this rebalancing, I called for a review of our surveillance programs. Unfortunately, rather than an orderly and lawful process to debate these issues and come up with appropriate reforms, repeated leaks of classified information have initiated the debate in a very passionate but not always fully informed way. Now, keep in mind that as a senator, I expressed a healthy skepticism about these programs. And as president, I've taken steps to make sure that they have strong oversight by all three branches of government and clear safeguards to prevent abuse and protect the rights of the American people. But given the history of abuse by governments, it's right to ask questions about surveillance, particularly as technology is reshaping every aspect of our lives. I'm also mindful of how these issues are viewed overseas because American leadership around the world depends upon the example of American democracy and American openness. Because what makes us different from other countries is not simply our ability to secure our nation, it's the way we do it, with open debate and democratic process. Uh, in other words, it's not enough for me as president to have confidence in these programs. The American people need to have confidence in them as well. And that's why over the last few weeks I've consulted members of Congress who come at this issue from many different perspectives. I've asked the Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board to review where our counterterrorism efforts and our values come into tension. Uh, and I directed my national security team to be more transparent and to pursue reforms of our laws and practices.